Hello, people. This is Chloe, and on this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to change your um your icons on your PSP. Um, this is for all the 3.02 OE users. Um, all right. So here's my firmware. Just let you know. Alright, 3.02 OED. Alright, so these are already got my crafted icons in there. Alright, you can see them. Alright, so we're gonna change how to um, them crafted icons and what you need. And, and that's it, alright. So, what you do is USB connection. So now we go to this website. Um, all right, just pretend this is not. Um, go to this website right here. Right here DL QG on that. Go into PSP category, and then type in right here. Um, filler, F I L E R, and then go to go. And then you get the uh, 2.4 uh, file right here. Then you download it. And then save it to your desktop. I already have it. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, um, go here. You type in custom icon type in custom icon okay so now you go to go and these two should pop out get the one in the bottom this one which is called XMB Packager V03 whatever whatever and you download it. Download it, okay. I already have it, so yeah, this is the only two you need. Alright, so now after you extract these two, it should come out with uh, first, what you want to do is create a folder called XMB or whatever you want. And just put all these folders and all these stuff that came out from the XME package and put them in here. Alright, so and then you have filler. Uh, filler, filler, alright. Filler right here. Go to 1.5 and put these two folders in your game 150 or game, just regular game inside your PSP. Uh, as for me, I already have it in there. P, PSP, and go back. PSP, I put them in my game 150. Filler, there you go. You can put them in game, doesn't matter. Alright, so put them in game, and then you already have the program. Alright, so now what you want to do is create your own, uh, create your, uh, your XMB icons. So I go to my XMB folder that I made. Just pretend I wasn't there. Alright, so this, these are the five things that come out. So, and icons are the uh, it's a place where you're gonna um, generate your icons to make a little top menu uh, plugin that RCO. Anyways, you go to sets and then you choose from any of these you want. Alright, there are a lot of them. There's custom XMB icons, you could just go there, just rename them to one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, in each one. Well, for each one, you put a number one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, you sooner or later get it and you know how to do it. Alright, so I'm gonna put these black folders right here. So what you what comes out it has one through six. One through six. You right click, you copy them, and then you go back. Go back again, go into icons, you paste them in there. <coughs> 
All right, so um, now you go back, and then you go to start, and this little thing should pop out. And you type in what letter is your firmware. I have a 3.02, which I'm uh, showing the tutorial of 3.02 OEB. So just press C for 3.02 and enter, and the file should start uh, creating. And then after it's finished, just press anything. <coughs> you should have a top menu plugin and you just create it so what you want to do is put that in your um, root of your uh, PSP your root alright alright so we're finished alright now what we're going to do is go into filler in your game Alright, filler. Go in there. Alright, now, uh, you should come out with this. What you want to do is start a hack mode. You hold L, left, and R. Now left R, and it should give you hack mode. <coughs> oh, sorry. And now you go to uh, all the way down to a uh, top menu plugin. Press X, and then copy current file to RAM disk. Then circle to press circle again. The file copy. Press circle. And press start and start again and go all the way down to uh, VSH press circle go into resource and go all the way down so you see top menu plugin RCL just right here <coughs> which is right here once you're in hack mode, you can paste all the stuff. You just press X again. And then paste all RAM disk file here. And then you go press triangle. Are you sure you want to do this? And then you press circle, OK. And then again, circle. And then select start to exit. When you first install Fitter, it's going to be in Japanese, so just press select. And you should um, have it in English. There you go. There goes my custom icons. And that's it, I guess. If you guys need any questions, just comment me. In, uh, not in, uh, just send me a message. And that's pretty much it. So good luck, and don't break, don't break your PSPs.